24-7 Fusion Media. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I know just about a week ago or so, I was mentioning how Judy Dench revealed how she felt concerning trigger warnings. You know, when folks come to the theaters trying to warn people of offensive scenes, nudity, violence, vulgarity, you name it. And with that, she definitely spoke her mind and told folks that if they're going to be so triggered when they come to the theater, you might as well just stay home. And boom, just a few days ago, we see that AMC gives Goodfellas trigger warning for offensive content with cultural stereotypes. And this is going to be the start of new things happening when folks are either going to the theater to watch movies or see anything uh or you know see any kind of uh theater plays or this is the kind of thing that's going to be happening whenever you watch an old movie or, or or a movie that has certain kinds of uh stereotypes which honestly a stereotype is a stereotype and a a portrayal of them is just what it is it's uh something that's going to be given more attention as time goes because a lot of people think that it's because of today's politically correct world that people are living in that these kind of things are happening so it says as time has progressed warnings have been applied on certain platforms for classic movies the warnings are to accommodate viewers that might be upset by the subject matter depicted in these particular films which hasn't exactly aged appropriately for today's standards. See, that's where a lot of people have got it mixed up at because for the time period that a lot of these portrayals have been depicted, the stereotypes that were shown were how people actually spoke, were how people actually acted. And just because it seems kind of harsh, the reality is, Reality is harsh. Many viewers don't see it as a necessity, while others appreciate the warnings. Now, however, it looks like the classic Martin Scorsese movie, Goodfellas, is the latest to receive such a warning via AMC. Now, the network recently screened a copy of the film for viewers to enjoy. After all, Goodfellas has been considered a classic film of cinema ever since it was released in 1990. As the outlet notes, however, times seem to have changed. Here's a copy of the warning, which was shared at the top of the screen for the film. This film includes language and or stereotypes that are inconsistent with today's standards of inclusion and tolerance and may offend some viewers, the warning reads. The outlet reminds that the film's warnings was first affixed to the movie during the height of Black Lives Matter riots when many businesses and cultural institutions made avoiding offense to various groups a core part of their missions. Wow. Says I've seen it all AMC message before the classic film Goodfellas. Wow. So there you go. There goes your trigger warnings. It's pretty fucked up when people actually know what they're getting ready to watch. Because of course people look things up. This is this is a time where you can't say you don't know what you're getting ready to walk into or get involved with when it comes to easily looking up something when you have the power of the computer right at your fingertips within your phone. So anybody saying, oh, well, I didn't know this movie was going to be about this, that and the other. And they were going to be saying this and that. 
All that's bullshit. You could easily look it up on your phone and you know exactly what the fuck you were going to get ready to watch. Now we have trigger warnings for Goodfellas and I'm guessing Godfather should be right around the corner. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is crazy. So, even here, uh, Bo Detell, a former NYPD officer that also portrayed a police officer in the film Goodfellas, shared a statement to the publication regarding his thoughts on the warning. Now, this is a former New York Police Department officer saying the fucking political correctness has fucking taken everything away. The tale begins, this is how life was back then. It was not a clean cut, beautiful thing. You can't cleanse history. If you want to tell true history, you got to tell it the way it is. And he's correct. You can't try to be politically correct and expect to clean up all the grimy things that hi that history has been about. This is crazy. And it says here, a similar statement was shared by Michael Francis, a one-time captain of the Colombo crime family. Says we don't need anyone protecting mob guys. It's crazy. And that's exactly what it's looking like. It's looking like AMC is trying to protect the mafia or mobsters by putting these trigger warnings on these movies. And you even had a guy that was a captain in the Colombo crime family saying that you know, you, you guys doing this on the movie and film side of things is ridiculous. With that being said, we come to this. Now, coming from TMZ, now this Goodfellas OG actor insulted over AMC trigger warning these mob portrayals were authentic. AMC is getting a Sicilian message of sorts from one of the Goodfellas crew after the network slapped a new warning on the mob classic, causing fans to flip more than Tommy, AKA Joe Pesci, being told to get his shine box. So TMZ reports, AMC added a warning over outdated stereotypes in addition to violence and language and it caused some serious online backlash. Frank Sivero, who played the hilarious Stone Cold killer Frankie Carbone, tells TMZ, the trigger warning is not just unnecessary, it is an insult to the actors who include Robert De Niro and the late Ray Liotta. Yeah, I agree, that uh, is pretty disrespectful towards their work. And Goodfellas is a fucking classic. I have the collector's edition. It's by far one of the greatest mafia movies ever made. And there's some great ones out there. It definitely runs with the best of them. Sivero, who was born in Sicily, says there was nothing stereotypical about his mob character who was heavily featured in the movie until his classic demise in the back of the meat truck. As he tells DMZ, director Martin Scorsese had the actors improv a lot of moments in the film, especially after a murder went down, so the choices were their own, not an exaggeration in need of a trigger warning. The Oscar-winning flick is a beloved classic, Civero notes, so by now people should know what they're getting into when they fire it up. And I agree, they don't need a trigger warning, especially an insulting one. And that's my whole point. And that's exactly what I've been saying ever since I've been talking about this trigger warning situation with Judy Dench and what she had to say. My thing is people should know what they're expecting. People should know what they're walking into before they purchase any kind of ticket to go see a movie, to go see a theater play, or before they sit down to turn on any streaming service or any cable channel and they go watch uh, a gangster flick they should know exactly what they're getting into and it doesn't take but a few seconds to do your homework to figure out if this thing is going to be insulting enough for you to want to watch it or not and if it is then shit don't press the button don't sit there and watch it don't pay your money 
to go see something that's going to get you fired up, you know, by the time you leave. And if that's the case, you shouldn't be watching it. That's basically what it boils down to. So that's the crazy part about this. So there's people pretty pissed off about how this trigger warning thing is being thrown out there for, you know, these movies and just understand that for the time periods that these movies were made, that's how people talked. That's how people react. This is how people responded. That's just the way it goes. That's the way it went. And people have to be understanding about this or if not, it's like how the SJW say it, just don't watch it. That's just to let you know that, you know, people are uh, tired of this kind of shit. And it just seems like uh, the film industry is trying to cleanse themselves. They're trying to uh, cover up and, and that's just not how it works. And the thing is you can't scrub history. So as much as you want to edit stuff out, as much as you want to put trigger warnings over things, as much as you want to cover Daryl Hannah's butt in splash before she jumps in the water to swim away, us as the audience and the lovers of uh, film and cinema and of all things pop culture, we can't allow those things to happen. So that's my take. That's how I feel. You guys, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And as always, it's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media, and I'm out. Peace.